ushering on Beyonce's latest Lion King, The Gift Album. This powerhouse artist represents the boldest of African flavor. Hey, Insider SA Boo Beams, Moon Charles and Ellie here. Welcome to the moon. I grew up in PE, I grew up um, performing. Whether it was modeling or dancing, my mom put me on stage. Because I was traveling as well, I got exposed to more than what my city was and just television. I got to see, you know. So I think um, it plays a huge role in me being able to just do my own thing. So then from PE, my mom took me to Durban um, for varsity. And I think it still was part of her bigger plan of some, I don't want my kids' dreams to be limited to the city. And so I went there and I studied fashion designing. I was allowed to be creative, which is the most beautiful thing as well. I think that acceptance before the world tells you otherwise. Every time I make a song, I always think it's going to change my life. And if it doesn't, I make another one that I think is going to change my life. Because I work, I work that way. Um, I've never had the pressure of an expiry date for my dreams. Every single time, it's all I want to be great at. And Beyonce, I wrote her down as my ultimate in music. I got her in my beginning of my global domination. I know everything is possible. I'm not really surprised by the things that I do, by the way. I write them down and I'm ready for them. And I think it plays a huge role in the fact that it doesn't change my personality. I'm still the same person you're going to see anywhere because it's a privilege for you to see me live my dreams because I wasn't going to live them anyway. So I'm just on it and I definitely believe that it was gonna happen and it happened. My first international situation was those five cities, it was five countries and um, it was amazing. I remember the New York one, New York Times flew back to come do a day in my life after seeing my show. I've always believed in myself, please understand. I've always believed in myself. When they say, what would you tell your younger self? I tell my younger self, you are right, you can do it all. I'm a fighter. I believe in myself, I'm a worker. I am magic. So if you don't give me opportunity, I'll Google how to bomb the doors of opportunity and I'll get in, period. Nothing stops me. No one stops me. My existence is an expression of who I am and my creativity is not limited to just it being a song, to it just being a story, to it just being a, a, a piece of clothing, to it just being my hair. It's so much. A fashion actually allows me to be who I am. I'm, I don't, I'm not made by studying fashion. I got skills in my creativity to be able to execute what I see. So being able to make my own patterns, because everyone's got visions of how they want to look. I just have the privilege of having the skill to do that. Hey, movie, I'm gonna show you my fashion side, right? Which is Moonchild Caldwell. So basically, I wake up every morning to make an outfit after a shower because I change my mind all the time. So when I'm making it, I literally create it as I go. How I describe my sense of style, I'd say it's very colorful, it's very animated, and it's very sexy at the same time. Um, it can be very dark as well. So I don't really have limits except for the fact that I don't wear travel prints and I don't wear African beads because it's something I've always rebelled against. I'm like, I am Africa. So whatever comes from me is South African design. Well, my love for fashion comes from my upbringing. I think maybe because I also was a pageant um, baby. So I started from making clothes for dolls in my house and doing fashion shows to making my younger nieces and cousins my guinea pigs and I'd just steal stuff and cut it and make stuff. So my mom saw me do this all the time. And then when I was in like high school, this is when every weekend I'd literally not leave the house without making something new. I think there was this one outfit she saw me kill. In my final year, she was like, okay, cool, this thing is like for you, go, go study it. And then I went to study fashion, so it was literally getting the skill in the fact that I was already like a creative. Because I always say this, you can go to a fashion school, but they can't teach you how to be creative, they can teach you the techniques of how to bring something to life. Run it like this, this is like during lockdown, and I just wanted to go play golf. But it was literally pieces that were left over from the stuff that I'd been making over the holidays. So just keeping it playful, cute and... Funky. And then for instance, I remember we were going camping and then I made this one because I just bumped into this fabric. And then I wear this with a chain so that uh, it has the edge to it. I usually get these from um, adult shops overseas because in South Africa they usually have mocks of it so it's not like real leather. I think I got this one in LA when I went to shoot my power with Beyonce. That Moonchild also features on the FIFA 22 World Cup soundtrack confirms her global appeal. Okay, so this one, I made it for my TV show. 
a madness method and honestly this was no real inspiration i just didn't want to feel cold so i just decided to bring my bedroom to the studio um with regards to fashion trends i set trends i don't follow trends um i think that's why it's the biggest problem for me to work with a lot of um stylists there's only a handful that can work with me because I don't I generally don't like the ideas they have for me. It's almost like if you're going to work with me, you need to create something. I, mean, I don't like being like anybody, period. So I worked on this one with um Anita Afro Grunge. I saw this calf in one of her shots, right? And I was like, "Okay, cool. I think I want a whole outfit out of this." Then I called her when I got to Cape Town. We did measurements and then I designed this one. So we created this look for Yebo Tita, my music video. We dropped it this year as well. And, um, I mean, the whole song is about Just do your work. Um, it's not necessarily just in school. Everyone's gone through a teacher, so I felt like it's a relatable one. It's also like a nice celebration of all the teachers that equip, you know, um, students in any level in life um, outside of school. So this one is literally what I live in in December. I've got these dresses in every single color. So just going to the fabric shop and buying all the different colors and then coming up with the things to rock December in. I mean, I just use them as well in my music video Kovivi that I just shot recently. That's going to come out. Um and all the girls are wearing like all different shades of these ones. So that's how you're going to get to see a lot of a lot more of them if you don't see them on my Instagram. Well, my moon mop is literally inspired by a mop. I was at my friend's place and she had this gang wool which was this color. And then I took it with me, went home to PE and then did the moon mop. And then came back, patented did it and then focused on making it big with me. In the driving seat as a businesswoman, designer, musician and single mother, the one place she's not behind the wheel is on the road. So today we're going karting because I love speed and I am a true professional passenger so it's the only time I get to drive. Ah, let's go. She may not do it as a means of getting about, but Moonchild never said she couldn't drive. Actually, it's very fast if you go and once you get into the fast part you can't stop making it fast. I thought I was going to be crashing into everything, but literally once you hit the accelerator you can't stop. That was amazing and so much fun. So my adrenaline is flowing so I want to do something else. What's next? What's next? Give me something. Let's go. Miss Sanelli has always been clear-minded about what she wants and in her fiance and long-time partner Juanse More, she's found it. Hey baby, so we had an adventure today. I decided to have a date while roller skating with my boo and it has not stopped. So bye to the <laughs> For fun on a date we we've run out of restaurants to go to in Joburg because you know everything because we go out a lot. Um adventure we love going to rock quite pools, okay. quite biking. Um we haven't like paraglided. What haven't we done? We haven't paraglided because we bungee jumped. Yeah. So you still need to paraglide. Snowboarding. Oh, yeah. I want to do some snowboarding one day. Snow Wait, that would be easy because it's like skating, like surfing. Go like go the... to Switzerland for it. It's right here. That's like now. I'm used to rollerblades and skateboards and roller skating. It's not my first time. It's not our first time either. But she doesn't know it yet. So I also don't know how to stop, child. So let's rock though, because I love it. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> They did and Moon is increasingly happy to toast life and her career victories. <laughs> yes, child, yes. Humility has its place, but she insists that she is learning to celebrate herself more for all the hard work she puts in. <laughs> Okay, so this is so much fun. We're not done, but it was so good for you guys to have a hint of our day. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm about to continue enjoying. Bye. Come on, baby. Endlessly creative, hardworking, and successful in whatever she turns her talents to, Moonchild Sanelli may just be our most original, proudly African flavor.